That sure was some nightmare. It even left me with a monster headache. My head is killing me. Here is the telephone. My head feels like it's going to explode. These nightmares have given me a mean headache. I look great. Then again, the mirror is dirty. There's an empty glass. A slightly worn old-fashioned bathtub. The old pipes don't work. That's the hot water heater gurgling. Better not touch that. It's hot. These towels have an illegible monogram on them. I'm already dry. An old-fashioned shower stall. This dilapidated room gives me the chills. Must be the cold draft. Here's an old trench coat. I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. I wouldn't want to wear such a heavy old coat. There is a bulge in the pocket of the trench coat. This bed hasn't been slept on in years. The sheets are blanketed with dust. And now so are my hands. Those wooden planks creak a lot. The entrance to this house must have seen countless guests come and go. But it's just me now. These leather-bound books remind me of my book collection still in storage. That's kind of unsettling. These old science books date back a long way. The books would fall apart if I touched them. This old globe is a collector's item dating back decades. The globe is rusted into place and will not turn. The walls seem hollow here. This secret room is dark and damp. A heavy twine rope. There's a secret door here.
This ladder appears to lead to the attic. This attic is full of useless items left over from the previous owner. Some of these windows need to have the glass replaced. An old newspaper. I've already read this paper. An old empty steamer trunk. Nothing in here. Here's an old pair of wooden skis that need refinishing. It's not ski season yet. Sturdy handle to the trunk. What a tremendous view of the town from up here. But the wooden railing looks as though it has seen better days. This is a wooden railing. Better be careful, it doesn't look too steady. That's a gargoyle. One of those mythical creatures used to keep demons at bay. At least the lawn doesn't need mowing. This place is a shambles. Reminds me of my last garage. Now this baby could be a collector's item, if it were properly restored. It doesn't look like it's been used lately. Here's the opening to the gas tank. The gas tank cover is missing. There's a crowbar in the trunk. There's the trunk of the car. This car sure is old, but I think it could still be made to run. The battery still works. A real wood steering wheel. There's a glove compartment. Doesn't appear to be locked. There's an old diary inside this trunk. It's a calm neighborhood out here. My house seems somehow 
out of time, a relic of a dark past, or perhaps a dark future. seems strangely empty and unoccupied. This town looks unnaturally quiet. quaint general store with a little bit of everything for day-to-day -day existence. There's a bottle of cheap scotch. I I'm sorry, Mr. Dawson, but you'll have to pay for that. Serve yourself, Mr. Dawson. That's the last bottle of scotch. Boy, Delbert's gonna be mad. Hi, you must be Mike. I'm your neighbor, Delbert. Why don't we get together tomorrow? I'll meet you outside your place at six. You're a writer, huh? I'm a lawyer by trade. Why don't you take one of my cards? I should call for an appointment first. An old library, a venerable repository of knowledge. It guards its bounty behind a handsomely decorated structure. Looking at the fountain makes me very thirsty. The water feels so cool and refreshing. These shrubs are well groomed. This room reminds me of my study, full of leather-bound books. Someone has lost a hairpin. That would be very impolite. The sort of thing your former co-worker Larry would have tried to do. She's an extremely beautiful woman. She doesn't seem to notice me staring at her. This card really should be kept with the book. You'll find that one in aisle C. It's the one with the green cover. Sure is quiet here. You could hear a pin drop. Books in the library stacks all look pretty much the same. There's a green book with a scrap of paper hanging out of it.
These old library books date back a long time. I don't see anything worth reading here. Here's an entry to an old cemetery, overgrown with weeds. These archways give me a sense of foreboding. The cold stones send a chill up my spine. This place looks like no one has been around and tended for a long time. There's no name on this stone. The stone feels rough with sharp edges, as though it had just recently been chiseled. The stone is very warm, like it's been here for centuries. G. Threepwood, rest in peace. Sherry Day. She's far beyond anyone's reach. Harcourt Fenton Mudd. He was no tribble at all. J. T. K. S. Nostromo, rest in peace. Don't disturb the dead. Step back. You're on hallowed ground. John Campbell. Here lies a man who saw beyond time's horizon. Bobby Jacobs. Never thought you'd end up here, did you? The inscription has eroded with time. I can't touch that. Have I no respect for the dead? These are ancient symbols covering this mausoleum. But I'm not up on my Egyptian. The tomb door won't open. It worked! The door opened! Feels like a cold draft just hit me. Or is it just my nerves? The names on these caskets have faded away with time. I guess the caskets have been sealed shut to preserve freshness. There's a clock key among the ashes. Joe Tuttle, beloved butcher. Patrick Tuttle, beloved grandfather. Great, now I have Grandpa Pat all over me. Julia Tuttle, beloved mother. Great, now I have Ma Julia's ashes all over me. Leonard Tuttle, beloved son. Great, now I have Leonard all over me. Gary Tuttle, beloved cousin. Great, now I have cousin Gary all over me. A peaceful place to meditate. Not that I have the time. I can just barely see my house from here.
That's a ch chilly draft blowing through this decrepit old living room. Hello. Hello, Mike. This is Sue at the library. We have a book on hold for you, so please drop by sometime. Hi, Mike. Here's the book that was put on hold for you. Steal from those who protect you, or you will not be able to protect yourself in the dark world.
Grandfather clock reverberates an ancient, endless tempo. There appears to be a plaque inside, but I can't make out what it says. The clock casing is locked for some reason. This picture is very alien to me. More dust on my hands. A masterpiece of the macabre. Its eyes follow me relentlessly. An old Victorian chair. The varnish is rough. The cushion is tough. The varnish is still smooth. An old oak table. An old velveteen couch. A film of dust covers the couch. This mirror is cold to the touch, a grim reminder of its unyielding quest for my true image. I better not eat anything coming from this kitchen until the cleaning lady has disinfected it. The door is stuck. I wouldn't want to see the food in here anyway. The refrigerator doesn't seem to be running. A strange odor seems to be coming from inside. The cabinets are old and stained. The shelves are bare except for the bugs. This stove is hissing, and there's a faint smell of gas here. I bet the pilot light is out. The pilot flame is out. Here's an extensive collection of empty wine bottles. The previous owner must have had some reason to drink. Pouy Fousse Chanoc Controche 1961. Ah, uh, not my cup of tea. What would I want with an empty bottle? These are empty red wine barrels. They feel sticky with dried wine. Gothic artwork. Certainly not my style, but it came with the house. The artwork looks old and feels old, too. A 
not even a hidden safe behind it. I feel sleepy. I think I will go to bed now. An unnatural glow emanates from the chamber. Strange machines provide energy, nourishing the creatures cocooned in their sacks. These look like the plans for a gruesome biological experiment on a human.
There's a ramp that leads to a raised platform. That machinery hum sets my teeth on edge. I feel like a cold wind just ran through my bones. That machinery hum sets my teeth on edge. There's a pair of binoculars. Has someone been here before me? This cold and creepy landscape does not look like an inviting place for a picnic. There are alien mountains in the distance. This looks like some strange abode of a biomechanical leech draining the life force from its victims. That's probably some kind of force field generator that the biomechanical leech used to trap its victims. Better not touch them. They could very well drain my life force. Look at those poor unfortunate victims of that life force leech. This is the outside of the alien edifice. It reminds me somewhat of the front of my own house. These petrified images of this alien forest remind me of something I had nightmares about as a child. All my gut feelings tell me not to go in there. However, nothing ventured. It smells like a hospital waiting room here. Perhaps it would be safer to return home now. That's strange. What would a shovel be doing in this place?
Jay Poosh. May he rest in peace. He's dead. Leave him alone. R. Leibowitz, a canticle for his deed. This stone feels stone cold. Have I no respect for the dead? J. McKeegan. The stone feels cold and slippery. Come here, Dawson. I want a word with you. You're under arrest, Mr. Dawson. Come with me. What a cold and uninviting place. I never thought I'd be spending a night in here. Old grungy pillow. A tin cup. I really don't need to take the pillow. I have enough of them at home. policeman a friend of Dilbert's huh come with me Dawson this is the inside of a police station a gun in a holster There's nothing inside. I don't see anything of interest. There's a map of the city. I can't pry it loose. Besides, it's too big to lug around. At least there aren't any pictures of anyone I know here. Mugshots don't make good souvenirs.
good to see you, Dawson. Follow me. This must be the neighbor's yard. Boy, that's smooth. Thanks for coming by, Mike. Here's a stick used to play fetch with the dog. That's wrought iron lawn furniture. It is rusting and wet from exposure to the sprinklers. This alien park was obviously engineered by creatures with a bizarre and cruel sense of humor. main lobby of an alien jail. They could use a new decorator. So that's where my gun went. You're going to rot for a few centuries, human. Alien graffiti scars the walls. No one who enters here ever leaves alive. Bars look impenetrable, but the lock looks primitive. A long corridor leading to freedom. Greetings, human. I am Star. Prisoner of this dungeon for nine years. I am prepared to give you the gift of invisibility in exchange for my freedom.
The sign over the doorway, if you could read it, would tell you this is the Dreketz Guards Recruitment Center. Before you is the Recruitment Center, where genetic engineering is being conducted on the recruits. You're in the Great Archive Chamber. Many of the ancient secrets are available here for those who know how to access them. I'll bet this is the main archive's access screen. I can't reach the screen. Besides, it's not a touch screen. Greetings, Michael. I've been sending you messages over the radio. The ancients have implanted an alien embryo into your brain. If born, this creature will destroy you and all of mankind. You must find the ancients' power source and destroy it. Also, the police in your world are under the control of the ancients. Avoid them at all costs. Hurry, and good luck. It might be better to leave well enough alone. Both my headache and these nightmares are getting worse.
This dark room looks like it is seldom used. Nothing but books, books, and more books. I don't see anything of interest. A reader for viewing microfiche films.
There's a loose flagstone with a hole bored into it. There's a set of keys. Under the rock was a set of keys. There's a horrible and ancient looking alien glaring at me through the frost covered viewport. The alien's power source appears to be located in this chamber. This is the heart of the power nexus. I feel it vibrating with alien energies. If I used my unprotected hands, they would fry in an instant. This organic computer is rubbery and strangely warm to the touch. Looks like an organic computer that directs power to the ancients. The stone seems energized and warm to the touch. Alien's power source appears to be located in this chamber.
The stone seems energized and warm to the touch. If I used my unprotected hands, they would fry in an instant. Remember, anything seen in the mirror is not real. Only the mirror itself is real. The motor starts.
This large room looks like a control center. There's the control console. You have just engaged the main engine startup sequence. I'm not really sure why I'm here, but I just felt drawn to you. I know it sounds strange, but what's even more strange is that I found these pills in my purse. It's a prescription filled in your name for relief of severe headaches. I'm just beginning to understand.